All right, with less than a week before Christmas, holiday travel is starting to ramp up and more people are flying this year versus last year. CBS 17 uh, consumer investigator Steve Sprazier takes a look at what folks are facing. Just as air travel is starting to ramp up for the holiday season, travelers are facing a double whammy with COVID. The Delta variant is still out there and Omicron is surging. Last year, millions of Americans canceled their holiday travel plans during the pandemic, but that attitude is changing this year. I didn't. You didn't want to change your plans at all? I couldn't. I haven't seen my family in two years. So that was the driving force behind it? Yeah. The number of people traveling is approaching pre-pandemic levels with 109 million Americans expected to leave home for the holidays. That's a 34% jump from last year, and more than 6 million of them will be flying. I do think that the airlines are doing their best to make sure that people adhere to keeping their mask on. Healthcare experts are warning about holiday travel. The worry is not so much about the airline flights, but rather what will happen when people get to where they're going. Probably being on an airplane is a fairly safe place to be, but think about how you're going to get there and how you can make sure you're safe along the way. I am concerned to an extent that others are not concerned about it. It'll also cost you more to travel this holiday season. AAA saying airline tickets have increased 5%. Hotel rates skyrocketed 36% over last year this time. And if you rent an automobile, you'll have to shell out 20% more. Surveys of travelers indicate as vaccines become more widely available, people are becoming more confident about traveling by air. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher. And get this, the TS TSA says its airport checkpoints saw more than 2.2 million travelers alone on Friday alone. And before it's over, an estimated 4 million more will travel by air this holiday season.